Hey, what's up guys? It's Mike at youarethepath.com So, being in alignment with your true self. You know, last week it felt like the universe was kicking my butt because I've not been listening, I've not been present in the moment. And I had a little altercation at the train station over some tickets. I wasn't listening to what he was saying to me. I bought these tickets and I ended up having to refund them. Now, this guy who sold me the tickets and I had to go to him to refund them, this guy showed me a bit of tough love. He was older than me, maybe in his late 40s and I don't know, maybe he's, maybe he's got kids or something. So anyway, he said to me, where's the mistake? And I just had to say, I didn't listen. And then with that, he said, no problem, we can refund that for you. So he wanted to make sure that I knew where the mistake was and so that I learn from it. And you know, it's a learning process and when it feels like that, when it feels like people are nitpicking at you, sometimes it's unfair, sometimes it's unjust, but sometimes it's because we need it. Because we need to take a look at ourselves sometimes. So that's what I did, but be careful not to be hard on yourself and beat yourself up and say, oh, it's not fair life isn't fair in those situations when we do need it and sometimes we do so I realize the past week how important it is to be around other people and to get out there more I spend so much of my time behind the laptop and I've actually got some repetitive strain injury in, in this arm from using the mouse so much. So that's my body telling me, hey Mike, get away from the computer, this isn't right. So when we get out there and we're around more people, we have more mirrors. Everyone acts as a mirror to us so we can see aspects of ourselves that we can't get in touch with by ourselves. So those people that push our buttons and irritate us are showing us aspects of ourselves that we don't fully accept and that we haven't fully made peace with. And it's the same for all of us. So I was a bit more adventurous last week. I got out there, I went to a new yoga class with my brother, some place I'd never been before. And um, in the past, what I've done is I've stayed on my laptop and I was so grateful for myself for getting out there. You know, I read a book uh, about five or six years ago called Feel the Fear and Do It Anyway. And that helped me to overcome my tendency to be by myself. And one of the fear truths uh, in, in this book, Susan Jeffers, the author, she talks about five fear truths. And fear truth number five is pushing through fear is less frightening than living with the underlying fear that comes from a feeling of helplessness. So pushing through the fear is nothing as bad as living with that feeling of helplessness. And you're in that feeling of helplessness when you freeze and you refuse to step out of your comfort zone. You begin to feel helpless. You begin to look for excuses not to face the situation and you begin to lie to others and you lie to yourself. Then you don't trust yourself. Then you hate yourself then. And we have that. It's a, not a great relationship to have with yourself. Sometimes you just got to be honest with yourself and say, hey, I'm avoiding this. So avoidance shows up in specific areas of our lives. But you see, how we do one thing is how we do everything. 
so if you're avoiding in one area no doubt that same attitude and behavior will be showing up often in subtle ways in other areas of your life so I need to take a break from the laptop rest my arm rest my eyes from the computer screen and uh, I would like to make connections again not just in the digital world but in the flesh as well I think human contact sitting and being in other people's auras can really help you and if you're around people who are disrupting your aura maybe you need to take yourself away from that maybe you don't resonate in that group anymore and that can be fearful but you know to overcome that fear fear <laughs> and to break those chains you have to face it and you can take baby steps you don't have to step into the lion's den right away you know in um, I've faced many challenges in stepping into becoming a life coach and uh, having my own business I had to be more committed to making a difference in people's lives than I was to remaining safe I had to be more committed to getting out there and feeling a little uncomfortable and a little out of my depth I had to be more committed to that than I was to remaining comfortable in my comfort zone you see there's one thing you can buy programs for whatever it is you want to do I used to buy programs on how to build your own online business how to be a life coach and there's one thing buying the programs listening to the programs reading the books that's one thing applying it and going through that journey of change and transition and growth is another thing entire, entirely you will be stretched along your journey to mastering your craft and there's going to be instances where you're going to be stretched you're going to come up against a challenge and are you going to persist with self-determination or are you going to say this is too hard it's not me I can't do this it's easy for them you know they had the right upbringing or the right education you know it's the challenges that cause us to find the strength to find and discover the will and the determination and the compassion because without those challenges I wouldn't be who I am now speaking these words to you today because it was everything I went through that made me who I am today and I don't so much wear it as a badge of honor I let go of it because I'm not that person now we can become attached to our story of strife and struggle and we can kind of posture a little bit it's like do you know what I've been through <laughs> you know we can kind of use it in that way do you know who I am you know I've let go of that now because the attitudes that helped me through certain periods of my life then don't help now I used to have a very kind of terminator I will not stop nothing will stop me not the Illuminati nothing not even death will stop me I had that kind of attitude towards life I think it was the hip-hop I was listening to at the time TikTok you don't stop helped me through that time it was all about getting through and getting to the light at the end of the tunnel now my life is about remembering that the light is always there existence 
isn't a fool. There is intelligence in everything. And it's beyond the personality. It's beyond the ego's ability to comprehend. And my life now is about seeing that the light is here now. It's not about trying to get somewhere else when I can relax. Because I do that. It's a constant journey of remembering to be in the now, in gratitude, appreciation. The crazy thing about living in this part of the world, the western part of the world, you can go to the supermarket. I remember being at the supermarket and I was looking at all these different brands and flavours of coffee, tea, you name it, we're spoilt for choice here. And really we just need to get our own house in order and get it together. Do you remember that Bob Marley track? Do you know that Bob Marley track? Things will be mighty better if we get it together. Souls almighty Don't you know we got the rhythm Dance helps, music can help We've just got to get it together Don't be beating yourself up for falling into your vices Because that can happen The way to overcome an addiction Isn't to beat yourself up about it And I'm not saying give yourself a free ticket to do whatever you want Well actually I, I am kind of saying give yourself a free ticket to do whatever you want in a way well it's not really what I'm saying don't beat yourself up whatever you did yesterday it's gone just be determined that you will overcome it and you have that attitude every morning when you when you wake up now there are many ways that you can express your self-determination do something different Health is a great way to get into raising your self-esteem, hydrating yourself with water, making better choices, doing some exercising, getting outside in nature. Breathing is all expression, ways of expressing your determination to evolve. When you eat some healthy food, what do you think that's saying to yourself? When you're drinking a green juice, it's like, I love myself. I'll never forget when I saw Dan the Life Regenerator do that. It's an affirmation. I love myself. Look, I'm giving myself healthy food. You can either be in a crap situation with an unhealthy body, or you can be in a crap situation with a hydrated, healthy body that has the nourishment and the minerals that it needs and when you do that you start making those kind of choices watch what happens to your situation your situation will change you'll start to see solutions that you weren't aware of before all the doors are there it's like being in a corridor but you can't see all the doors you need to shine your torch you need to illuminate the corridor with your consciousness. Now, existence didn't create you without the ability to do that. You don't have to believe anything that I'm saying. But either the brain has the ability to affect its reality or it doesn't. And we're just on a spinning rock, flying aimlessly through an infinite universe and after you die, that's it. Good night. You know, I used to try to imagine non-existence when I was a kid. I used to try to imagine nothing, there being nothingness. And I could never wrap my head around it. I could never try to imagine non-existence. Existence is all there is. There is nothing but existence. You will always exist in one form or another. You know, you can't imagine non-existence because there has to be consciousness there to know that there is non-existence. 
you know, I'm playing around with these ideas and finding my own truth and bringing myself into alignment with my true self. Hope you got something from that. Catch you later. Peace.